Hello YouTube, MJ here with another review. Um, this time, doing something di a little different. I actually just started picking these up because I had watched the anime, fell in love with the series. So I figured I'd pick up some of the figures I could find for it. Uh, not sure if you, I'm going to do a lot of these, but I figured I'd do at least a couple. Uh, so this is the Figma, Max Factory Figma series. And this is Fate Stay the Night, Rin Tosica. Um, main reason I decided to do the review is because I have to admit, they have some of the best articulation of any toy I've ever seen in. I mean, just going through hers. Full range of motion in the ankle. In and out. Double jointed knee. Because of how they have it set up completely blends in, looks natural. Swivel at the top of the stocking. Ball jointed hip with a flexible skirt so that way it gives it full range of motion. Hip, full rotation. Head, full ball joint. Even our hairs on a full ball joint. Full rounding shoulder. Double jointed elbow, in and out, and rotation. Plus, for anybody who's seen the series, it's one of the most accurate head sculpts I've seen on something for her other than an actual statue. And I have to admit, just from the few that I've gotten, the fig this Figma line, which I guess has been out for a long time, just apparently getting in the note. Whoopsie. And that's part of the reason why you have a stand. Though she does stand fine on her own. Is probably one of the nicer action, just solid anime action figure lines I've seen in a long time. And as nice as the figures are, one of the nicer parts are the accessories she comes with. Of course, full hand set. Pointing, outgrasped, holding hand, fist. I'll show you what that one's for a little later in just a regular fist. And then, for those of you who have seen the show, Yelling Face. Focus on that for a minute. Just looks really nice. Eyes are a little askew, so you have to have the head rotated if you want to use it. This one's probably not going to focus well, but we'll see what I can do. The rolled up sleeve has all of the markings for the spells. Actually, let me see something. Oh, come on, glow. All right, normally the black light was making closed. But I think that my regular lights have it too bright. Her dagger that she was given to by the preacher in the series. Which is ironic. Uh, I'm not going to try to spoil anything, but just one of those nice tidbits. And then her gem throwing fingers. And then, of course, you know, it comes with a bag to put everything in, but I think I'm just going to keep most of the boxes, so it's not a huge issue there. But I have to admit, I'm very happy with the figures. Um, the price tag, I got her for about 15 Once again, got a good deal from a board member. Wanted to, th wanted to thank him. I don't remember his sign-in name offhand, but... If he ends up watching this, she'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I said, nice figure, great sculpt, and a really nice series. Um, along with her, I actually have the Shiro Emiya figure, uh, Saber Altar, Rider, and then a Fate Extra video game one. So, 
at most that's how many reviews there's going to be. But I'll see if I end up doing more or not. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll get back to Transformers reviews fairly soon. I'm just waiting on a lot of packages.